Today is Earth Day, so I thought what better way to celebrate it than visiting a national park. I am in Yosemite National Park, which is in the Central Valley of California. It's only an hour and 20 minutes from my house, and I don't think I've ever been here. I'm pretty sure I would have remembered. I'm already wet from visiting one of the waterfalls. This place is absolutely gorgeous. Of course, every national park is beautiful. The entrance fee is $30, and a lot of people don't know that it is good for seven days. What I actually did was I paid for the annual pass, which is only $80, and it's good for 12 months from the date of purchase for any national park in the United States. So if you plan on visiting two or three in a year, then it's already worth it. And I am planning on making a road trip to Alaska from California in about six weeks. So I know I will be visiting at least a few along the way. When you visit a national park, definitely give yourself a couple of days, more than just one visit. National parks are so big, you can't possibly see everything in just a few hours. So far I have been to the Grand Canyon, both of them, the North and the South Rim. I have been to Zion National Park and Kings Canyon Sequoia National Park. I think that's what it's called and this is my my most recent one and they are huge just giving yourself one day you actually miss out a lot I would suggest to familiarize yourself online before you visit but even if you don't when you enter they give you a huge map a bunch of different documents uh, maps and list of activities you basically find out everything you can possibly do and I would actually pull over in a place and just look over it and sort of make a plan of what you're going to see first and next what you want what is most important to you and that way you could get the most out of your visit I have seen a lot of people wearing a lot of things. I would definitely recommend layers because it could be hot, it could be cold. This park started at 4,000 feet elevation and I believe right now we are at 6,000. So even if it's in the summer, it could get a little bit chillier. So at least have something to put on. Um, as far as your footwear, I would recommend hiking boots. That's what I'm wearing. I see I have seen people wearing flip-flops and sandals and you can't comfortably walk around in those if you want to go for a hike. That's definitely a no. I have seen this waterfall called Bridal Veil Fall and the mist is so strong you feel like you're getting rained on. That's why my hair was so wet. It's actually drying up right now and everything is wet and that's just an accident waiting to happen. If you're going to wear tennis shoes, I guess those are okay, but if you're wearing shoes, then might as well get your hiking boots and you're just going to be so much more comfortable. I find them very comfortable to walk around anyways and when you're in a national park, you're going to walk a lot. Other than that, I would recommend a backpack. Just something small is enough and you could put some snacks, some water, put your wallet, your phone, your phone charger, an extra power bank, whatever you need to take with you. This way, when you get out, you can just grab it, go for a walk and not really have to worry about anything.
There are several campsites in the park. I myself don't like camping in national parks because for me they are too crowded. You're only about six feet away from the next campsite, but obviously if you are coming from far, this is the best solution. I have seen campsites that seem to be limited to only tents. There were some that seemed to have mostly RVs and there was a mix. So this is something you definitely want to check out ahead of time. You also need to make reservations way ahead of time for most of them. So I would recommend to start checking into it at least a couple of months before your visit. This video, of course, is not a complete guide, not even close. I have only seen a couple of places. I have been here for about six hours and I mostly drove around. I just wanted to see kind of everything. I had a map, of course, and I was just kind of mapping out things and stopped at a couple of places, but I will definitely come back at least for a hike for one afternoon and then come back another time, explore another area. Um, my my entrance fee is paid for for an entire year and i can even bring friends with me because your entrance fee is per vehicle not per person so i could have three four people with me and it's all paid for and there are no other fees involved you don't have to pay for parking or anything like that this is all paid for so this is sort of a teaser for you i just wanted to give you an overview of this park and just a little bit of advice what to expect what to bring um, if you have dogs what to do camping things like that so hopefully you're going to come here soon this is absolutely gorgeous for me this is super close so i love it thank you so much for watching and i will see you next time